Hi everyone, welcome to a reading vlog. So one of the things that I wanted to do this year, I think it may have been one of my uh, intentions for the year, was to vlog more and I really have not been doing that. I have so many vlogs that I have like started and not finished and not posted uh, for various reasons. I'm never going to be one of the people that does like a weekly reading vlog or anything, but I'd like to vlog once in a while. So I am doing this uh, to kind of get myself into a rhythm of vlogging ever, um, which is essentially I just want to do a vlog that like the plan is no plans. Uh, you know, there's no theme. Um, my only like plan at all is that I think this is going to be a little over a week because I want to catch two weekends um, in the vlog just since I don't read much during the week and I mostly read on the weekends. If I get two weekends in it then there's a higher chance of me actually finishing a book. Uh, but other than that the plan is no plans. <laughs> so that's what I'm thinking for this vlog. We'll see what happens and whatever happens it is what it is. That's that's my mindset at the moment, just to like vlog something. Anyway, so what's going on right now just to kind of kick off the vlog, it is Friday morning. I'm about to start work, but I wanted to just like say hi, start this off. Um, I am only reading one book right now. It is an audiobook. I'm listening to Beauty by Robin McKinley, which is one of her multiple Beauty and the Beast retellings. Um, I read something, I've read a couple books from Robin McKinley like a long time ago and really don't remember anything. Uh, so I wanted to give her another try as an author. Um, so I just started that yesterday. I'm only like maybe 10% into the book. It might be more like 7% or something like that. It's a pretty short book though, so it shouldn't take me too long uh, to finish it. I'm not sure how I'm feeling about it yet, but I'm also like not really into the main story yet because I'm so early on. I do have an idea of what I'm going to be physically reading, uh, but I'm waiting for the book to come in the mail. So I ordered a book recently. Uh, that I am very excited about. It's supposed to come today and when it comes maybe I will do a clip of like opening it up and uh, we can do a reveal of what's going to be the book I'm reading this weekend. Uh, but yeah, I will say it is a historical fiction which I'm very excited about. I just have really been in the mood for historical fiction re recently. Uh, so really looking forward to that and hopefully, hopefully it will come today. Anyway, that is the update to start this off and I will talk to you later. Good morning! Or it might be afternoon now. It's it's noon now, but hello! It is Saturday. Um, also ignore that there's just like a pile of fabric here. This is just kind of, this chair is where I uh, just store my uh, fabric that I'm going to use for things. Uh, but what has happened since I last talked to you? So Friday, finished work, uh, didn't do much on Friday night other than I washed all of my makeup brushes, uh, which honestly is very exciting to me because I do not do that often enough. Uh, but I was doing it because the last couple of days, um, my skin has been reacting to something. I have very sensitive skin uh, that gets upset about pretty much anything. Uh, and I've been having some kind of reaction. I usually am very careful about only testing one thing at a time so that I can like isolate variables. But this time I didn't follow my own rule and so I'm not exactly sure what it is that uh, I was reacting to, but it's probably either a, um, foundation that I was testing out or a exfoliator that I was testing. But one of them made my skin react. And so yesterday was actually like the first day in a couple of days that I had like worn makeup at all because uh, I really have like stripped back all of my skincare and makeup and everything to like the most simple tried and true things uh, since I'm not exactly sure what it is that was irritating my skin. Uh, anyway, 
that's probably more than you need to know about my skincare but I uh, I wanted to wash all of my makeup brushes in case uh, it was a new makeup product that was irritating my skin so I could kind of just like start fresh and be extra careful uh, so that's what that's what I did yesterday and then this morning I chatted with my friend Kathleen sometimes on the weekends we'll do like a zoom call and chat while we do our makeup in the morning uh, so that's what I was doing this morning while I was like doing my makeup uh, and other than that those are like most of the things I've been doing but I have two two bookish related updates one is that last night I did start a new book uh, which I didn't really intend to do but I did it. Uh, which is, I started reading Nettle and Bone by T. Kingfisher. This isn't the cover. This is what the cover looks like. Um, but this I kind of picked up on a whim the other day when I was at Barnes and Noble. I have read things from T. Kingfisher before and or read one book from T. Kingfisher and I was kind of lukewarm about it. Uh, but then I saw this in Barnes and Noble and it just sounded really interesting uh, and I liked the cover and it there, apparently she has like a skeleton dog in it so it just sounded interesting so I picked it up and then last night I decided to start it. Um, and I am about 60 pages into it. So maybe a quarter of the way in. It's a very short book. It's only like 200 and something pages. Uh, and I'm not sure how I'm feeling about it yet. The first couple of chapters, I really wasn't feeling it and was kind of like, ooh, maybe I shouldn't have bought this. But then it kind of hit a point where I'm like, oh, I get what like the story is about. Like, why did I just start another book when I know that I want to read one of these books that I just ordered? But yes, my other bookish update is my books came in the mail, so very excited about them. Um, so let's open these up and see if I can get this open. Ooh, this is actually nicer looking in person than I thought. Okay, I got two books from the same author, which are Hild and Ammonite by Nicola Griffith. So I just recently read Spear by Nicola Griffith, which is her most recent release. It is a novella that's sort of a gender bent queer Arthurian retelling of like Percival. Uh, and I loved it. It was so good. And I loved especially her writing and the atmosphere of that book. So I really wanted to find something else from her. Um, because like I, I feel like it's pretty rare for me to like find an author that I enjoy their writing that much so I really wanted to try something else from her. Uh, so got Hild which I think this is like historical fiction about uh, Saint, Hilda, Saint Hilda of Whitby which honestly I really don't know anything about most saints especially but specifically I don't really know anything about Saint Hilda. Um, so I'm not really sure what this book is about uh, other than that it's about a saint but I am really excited to read something else from her. I'm hoping that I continue to really like love her writing. Um, I'm assuming that this will be less magical and fantastical than Spear because that was definitely more fantasy. This is more historical fiction I think uh, but I'm hoping to still like really love the writing and atmosphere of this. Uh, also I love the feel of this book. It's more like floppy than I was expecting and I really like it. So that's exciting. Okay it just also makes a good like sound. Uh, so the other one that I got from her, which this actually is prettier in person than I thought it was going to be because when I saw pictures of Ammonite, I was like, I don't really like this cover, uh, but the colors look a lot nicer in person, so I'm glad about that. But this is a sci-fi. This actually might be her like first book. This may have been her debut. I'm not really sure. Um, but Again, one, I don't really know what it's about, uh, but I mostly picked it up because I don't read a lot of sci-fi, but I always kind of 
want to get more into sci-fi but one of the reasons I think there are a few reasons why like sci-fi doesn't always work for me but one of them is that it's hard for me to find sci-fi with writing that I really like because I just feel like you know of course there are exceptions but as a genre I feel like sci-fi tends to have either a more dry or technical writing style or writing style that is just a little bit more straightforward it's less focused on like atmosphere and often less of a magical feel to it which makes sense for like science fiction it's not fantasy but I love like a magical atmospheric read I love more like lyrical descriptive writing um and so I it's it's harder for me to find that in sci-fi uh I also just am not as well versed in sci-fi so it might just be I'm looking in the wrong places if you know of any uh really good sci-fi with like really beautiful descriptive writing that is more like atmospheric let me know I'd love to know about it uh but I wanted to pick this up because Again, I liked Nicola Griffith's writing a lot in Spear, and so I'm hoping that I will enjoy her writing in this. So I'm not exactly sure when I'm going to read Ammonite, but I do really want to start Hild. Uh, I'm very excited about this and I'm very in the mood for historical fiction, so this is the book that I really want to start reading. But now I've gotten myself, now I've gotten myself into reading this, and so I don't know <laughs> I don't know what I'm gonna do. I don't really want to read both at the same time. I feel like I want to kind of decide am I going to just read this pretty quickly because it's quite short and then get into this or do I want to put this on pause and read this? Um, I'm not really sure but that is my update. Uh, I'll talk to you later. <laughs> Alright, so we're gonna see how the audio is on this clip because I don't think I've ever tried filming like a talking clip outside so I don't know how well the audio is going to be. Also, there are people mowing their lawns, there are some real loud birds out here uh, which is lovely to listen to but I don't know how that's going to affect the audio for this. But I have read a little bit further into Nettle and Bone. I decided that since I already started this one and it's pretty short, I wanted to at least get a little further into it before I made a decision about how I was feeling about it. Um, and I think I'm into it now. So I think I'm going to try and finish this. Hopefully, there's some bird just like the birds are act wild today. Um, but I, I'm gonna try and finish this today so that maybe I could start Hild tomorrow at least. Because uh, yeah, this is a pretty short book. It is, let's see. It's only like 240 pages, so it shouldn't be too difficult to finish. Uh, but since I've decided to read this now, and now there are sirens in the background, <sighs> but since I've decided that I am going to be reading this, I thought I would uh, tell you a little bit. I'm gonna wait a second. Okay, so I think that the sirens are done for now. Uh, but yeah, so since I have decided to continue reading this, I thought I'd tell you a little bit about what the book is actually about. Um, so in this, we are following Mara, who is the youngest of three princesses. Uh, her oldest two sisters have been married off, um, and Mara has been sent to live uh, with nuns. She finds out that uh, the husband of one of her sisters, who is a prince about to become king, is very cruel and abusive to her sister. Uh, and so Mara decides to 
figure out a way to save her sister. And so that's where she sets off to find somebody um, who is, I think it's the owl wife. I was just reading this and I already forgot what the term was, uh, but essentially like a witch who can help her figure out how to save her sister. Uh, and to do so, she has to go through different trials. She has to complete three impossible tasks and then other stuff after that. Um, so that's what's going on in this. And uh, yeah, so far I am liking it. I was kind of struggling at the beginning of this because the first couple chapters kind of like drop you in the middle of one of her impossible tasks um and sometimes i like that strategy where they just sort of drop you in the middle of a story and you're just like what's happening and then they kind of backtrack and like lead back up to that point this one like just for some reason didn't work for me so yeah and like there are things about this that are like a little bit funny like i it's not like you know hilarious but there are some elements of it that i think are like a little bit funny some of the interactions between some of the characters so i'm excited to see where this is going to go so i think that i am going to sit out here and read a little bit more of this uh it is beautiful out outside today just like the weather is beautiful it's like the perfect temperature outside um and like the birds are cheeping and like it's just great so i am really loving my little spot out here so i'm gonna read a little bit more of this and i want to make some good progress on it because like i would ideally finish this today uh so hopefully which i think is very possible because it's so short is just like do i get distracted that's that's the issue it's not that it's like impossible it's just like how much am i going to concentrate on this versus getting distracted by other things um but hopefully sitting outside will kind of like minimize my uh distraction morning it is sunday morning uh it is around 11 a.m so late morning uh i spent the beginning of this morning chatting with my friend abby we did a zoom call to catch up uh so that was a nice way to start a sunday uh other than that i have some reading updates for you uh so i finished nettle and bone last night uh and i really enjoyed this you know i think it kept like it has this kind of fairy tale feel to it uh that it's not like a retelling of a specific fairy tale but it has like elements of different things i think all of the characters in this are very likable um i i like the way that t kingfisher writes like animal characters in her books but i'm glad that i decided to give another book from her a try because i did really enjoy this i uh gave this four stars so i had a good time with this and that's the first book that i have finished in june uh i also dnf'd a book last night so i had started listening to the audiobook of beauty by robin mckinley which is one of her like many uh beauty and the beast retellings it wasn't grabbing me i have read some of robin mckinley's books a long time ago when i was like in high school or something i just found this book to be kind of bland um it seemed it for one thing the retelling itself feels like a pretty like direct retelling of Beauty and the Beast, which is not in and of itself a bad thing, but I it's not necessarily what I want out of a retelling, and I kind of wish that she had taken more creative license with the story, uh, which was kind of, I think I had a similar feeling about another book of hers that I read like maybe last year uh, or the year before, which I read Sherwood, which was her um, Robin Hood retelling, which I kind of wanted her to ha take more creative license with the story in that one as well. Um, so it kind of depends like what kind of retelling you're looking for. Um, I didn't feel like the characters in the book were particularly like interesting or well fleshed out, but I did want to kind of get to the point where she met 
the beast to kind of see what their dynamic was going to be like so i got to the point where she like meets the beast and i just like mm, i don't feel like a lot of potential here <laughs> so i decided to dnf it um also beauty as a character is one of those characters who like in every situation she's like oh i'm the plain but smart sister my sisters are so much more beautiful than i am and it's like you know uh and it's funny that like my nickname is beauty when i'm so not beautiful because i'm so plain and like being plain is like like a defining character trait for her which is just like just very annoying to me um and like this book was written i think in I looked it up I think it was like 78 so when the book was written that was probably a much more like interesting and fresh take on beauty as a character so I can understand that but for me like it's just really annoying when there are characters who are like oh no I'm like my whole character is based around like but I'm so plain it's to the point where like when she meets the beast right she sees him and she's like kind of horrified and then he says something about like oh you you know live up to your name beauty and she's like that can't possibly be so because i'm so plain and i'm like he's literally a beast <laughs> like why are you arguing with him about how unattractive you are just like stop it that it's not important for you to be like you can't possibly think that i'm pretty because i'm so plain like it just gets really annoying so didn't really want to like spend time on it so that was a DNF. Uh, okay, I have been talking for a long time, but I uh, I am going to be starting a new book. So I'm finally going to be starting Hild, which I'm very excited about. Um, still don't really know what it's about, but very much looking forward to it. Uh, I am not sure how much of this I'm going to get read today, just because I am I do have stuff I gotta do today, so one is that I need to film today. Uh, so I have done my makeup for filming. I might need to fix my hair before I film. Uh, but that's going to take a couple of hours. It always takes me, I don't know, at least like two hours or more to film. Then I have to edit so that I have at least one to two videos ready to post for the week. Um, and that's kind of the main thing that I'm going to be doing today. I also realized uh, when I finished this that I haven't set up my uh, my June reading journal spread yet. So if I have time, I'm going to set that up so that I can start putting in like, you know, my books that I've read and stuff into my reading journal for the month. Anyway, it is going to be a busy day, hopefully, I get some actual reading done, but filming and editing is going to take up a good amount of my time and energy. And filming is exhausting, uh, but I will talk to you later. It's later now, it's like 10 p.m. Uh, and I am about to start getting ready for bed, but I thought I would say hello before I did that. Uh, so pretty much 
I filmed four videos today, which is great. I did my May wrap up, a review for Spear, um, a recommendations video for uh, Arthurian adjacent books, uh, and what was the other one that I did? Oh, and my most anticipated releases for the second half of the year. So those are all filmed. So I have videos uh, filmed for the next like two weeks. Um, I edited my review for Spear, so that's going to be going up tomorrow, Monday morning. Uh, and then I think the next one I'm going to edit to go up will be my May wrap up and save the other two for next week. Um, yeah, so that's good. I accomplished the filming, which is like the important part to do on the weekend because then I can edit throughout the week. Uh, I also did set up my June reading journal. I keep my reading journal right here. Uh, I don't love the way it turned out. Um, I've been going for a much simpler style this year. Pretty much I like pick a quote to put on uh, the page and then just do like a couple very basic spreads, not a lot of doodling. Um, but I do sometimes doodle on the like cover quote page and I don't like how this turned out. And then I also realized that the uh, leaves that I drew are almost exactly like what I did for May, which I liked how May turned out a lot more. So this is what my May spread looked like. And you know, the leaves are very simple, but I like how they turned out a little bit better for this one. So June is not the prettiest, um, but that's okay. So I accomplished like the main things that I need to accomplish, although I did not get much reading done. Um, I have read exactly one chapter <laughs> of this. Uh, so I don't have much to say yet other than just like, so far so good. You know? <laughs> uh, seems good so far. Um, I was trying to figure out what audiobook I wanted to listen to next. Uh, so I did kind of test a whole bunch of different things to try and figure out like what kind of mood like audiobook reading mood am I in and I think what I have landed on is that I'm going to uh, resume my reread of The Beast Player by Noko Uhashi. Uh, this is the dust jacket. But you know my reading mood is very fickle so honestly who knows. Uh, anyway, that's my update for today, uh, and I will talk to you later. Hello, it is Wednesday. Uh, since it's the middle of the week, I thought I should check in and say hi. I haven't made a whole lot of progress in my reading because I, one, tend to not read a whole lot, during the week recently, my reading has just really been focused on the weekends and not as much during the week, although I was hoping that this week I would get a little more reading done than I actually did. Um, but uh, I have read one more chapter of Hild uh, for a grand total of having read two chapters in this book, so I'm about 40 pages in now, I think. Uh, so still, not a lot to tell you. I really haven't made enough progress in order to have any real thoughts or feelings about it. I just have, so far we've been following the main character Hild when she's very young, so still reading this, still looking forward to it. Uh, I think the last time I talked to you on Sunday I said I was going to restart my reread of The Beast Player, which I have not done. Instead, I started a different book because, well, I don't know, what am I doing? Uh, but instead, I started listening to Lake Lore by Anna-Marie McLemore. Uh, this is their most recent release. It is uh, YA histor- why was I going to say, his say historical fiction? YA magical realism uh, that is following two teens. Uh, I think one or both of them are non-binary and they find out about this like magical world beneath the lake um, and that's about all I know about it. I'm not very far. I read like 20 pages worth of the audiobook um, but I'm looking forward to this. I have really enjoyed some other things from Anna Marie McLemore. The last book I read from them um, I didn't love but I have liked other things so you know this maybe they're a bit of a hit or miss 
author for me but I am looking forward to this one it sounds really interesting and you know the first like five percent of this book the first like 20 pages uh were pretty good so far so you know optimistic about that too so that is my whole reading update for the middle of this week uh I probably won't get too much more reading done before Friday uh but I will check back in on Friday or Saturday see ya Hello, it is Sunday. I did not film anything yesterday on Saturday. Uh, it was just a very, I was very tired all day yesterday. Uh, just kind of exhausted from the week. I slept in late, then I took a two hour nap in the middle of the day and woke up with a headache. And it was just one of those days where I was like, tired all day, time didn't feel real. I had no motivation to do anything. Uh, so I didn't film anything. But last night I did uh, talk to Kara, which was a very nice way to end a very weird feeling day. Uh, so that was great. But yeah, we're, we're just, we're here on Sunday now. Um, I did make some progress in listening to Lake Lore because just like listening to an audiobook was, uh, the extent of my ability to like focus on anything. Uh, but I'm about 50% of the way into this and I am really enjoying it um but I feel like it's gonna be hard for me to like explain what the book is about because it doesn't have to me it just doesn't feel like there's a very clear like driving plot to it but I also am really enjoying it uh but this is YA magical realism I think in comparison to some of the uh other things that I've read from Anna Marie, Anna -Marie McLemore this leans a little more contemporary than magical but in it we're following uh two teens uh both of whom are non-binary they also are both uh, neurodivergent one of them has ADHD and the other one has dyslexia um and we start out with so one of uh the main characters is Bastian who lives near this lake that there are like stories about the world beneath the lake but no one really believes them anymore uh, except that Bastian know like has experienced this world beneath the lake uh, and they also make these like magical sculptures that they can like put their emotions into the sculpture to kind of not take their feelings away but it just kind of makes gives them some distance and makes the feelings feel less overwhelming and then these little and that those like emotions kind of animate the little uh sculptures and then the sculptures go like live in this world beneath the lake so that's kind of like the magical part of this uh our other main character is lore who has recently moved to uh bastion's town both of them have uh some like secrets that they're keeping uh but lore is the only other person who has who knows about and has, is able to see the world beneath the lake um and once lore moves to town it's like the world beneath the lake becomes more intense and kind of more like invasive into their lives and so they're sort of trying to figure that out uh but yeah it I'm not exactly sure what the plot of this is, um, but I am really enjoying it. I'm really liking the characters in it. I like Anna Marie McLemore's writing a lot, uh, so I'm having a good time. Um, but yeah, so about 50% of the way into this, I haven't really made, I've again, read like one more chapter of this, so moving through this extremely slowly, um, I just feel like it takes a little more concentration to read this uh and my brain has just been uh kind of like overwhelmed recently so uh it is it's i'm not having an, an easy time focusing on reading like physically reading anything but also just that like i feel like this one takes a little more concentration in general but now i my plan for today is that i want to get a little bit further into this uh i'm not sure how much further i'll be able to get today 
I'm hoping that I will get like maybe a quarter of the way into this. I, I don't want to be overly ambitious with it. Uh, but I do also want to finish this. I think that finishing this uh, is very doable. And then I want to make some more progress into this. So that is my plan for today. Okay. All right. So, hi, good boy. Tim's is here too. Timber, you want to show up? No? Not into it? All right. I had to reposition a little bit because Kira is on the, on the bench here with me, if you can see her. Uh, she does not really like being on camera though, so she's probably going to stay down here. She can tell if there's a camera on her, and she is not a fan. Uh, Timber's running around here somewhere. <laughs> uh, but, I've made some progress on my reading, so I thought I would update. Uh, I finished Lake Lore, uh, and I really enjoyed this. I still feel like it's hard to describe exactly what the plot is because it doesn't have like a very clear driving plot to it, but I think that, you know, that is the intention of the book. Like, it's not meant to be a plot-focused book. Uh, I think it is really focusing on these characters, their relationship, uh, and them like learning more about themselves. Um, there is a bit of a romance in it, but the romance doesn't, isn't really the main focus of their relationship. I think their relationship is much more about just finding someone who understands you, kind of like a kindred spirit who understands like how you experience the world and how you live. Um, and so, yeah, it just is really about the two of them. Um, but I really liked this and I gave it four stars. Uh, then I did also finally make some progress in Hild. I am about a quarter of the way into this now, uh, which is a little over 100 pages. I'm still not quite sure how I am feeling about this. This is a book that has been a little bit hard for me to concentrate on and really get into. Um, one of the things that I've done that has helped me like focus on it a little bit more was uh, listening to music while I was reading it. I don't always do that, but sometimes if there's like a certain song that's like stuck in my head or uh, I just feel like suits the book, I'll just like listen to that one song over and over again on repeat while I'm listening, while I'm reading and it helps me like really get into the flow of the book. Uh, the sun is like slowly attacking me, so I might have to like move around a little bit <laughs> as I'm talking. Um, but I found a song to listen to while I was reading this, which is um, that song, Running Up That Hill, but I think it's like Kate Bush, who, it's that song that's from Stranger Things, which I don't even watch Stranger Things, but that song has been everywhere, and so it has been stuck in my head, and then I just felt like it, for some reason, it just like worked for me to listen to that while I was reading this, and that has helped me like really read more and kind of get more into the flow of it. Anyways, I don't think I've really explained what this book is about, uh, but it is, so in it we're following Hild. From a young age her mother has always told her that she has this like great destiny to be a seer. Do not bark. There is a neighbor dog barking and Kira really wants to bark back. Her mother uh, has always told her that she's like destined to be a great seer, that she is the light of the world, and so her mother is trying to position Hild to be the king's seer. Timber, no, no. You're being a good boy. I see you. I know you're not barking. So her mother is trying to position Hild to be the king's seer, but Hild is like 10 years old, uh, so, this is very difficult for her to navigate. 
her uncle ends up taking her with him as he's traveling around to visit the different places that he rules uh, and she's supposed to like tell him visions and help guide him uh, but it's very perilous because if she guides him wrong like he could kill her if he gets mad enough um, so she doesn't really talk a lot or interact with people very much partially because I think you know she she I think is a naturally pretty reserved person but also because like the less she talks do not go barking at the neighbor uh, the less she talks the less likely she'll say something wrong but also people treat her very weirdly there people are very uncomfortable around her because she is a seer uh, so they think that she's like a witch or something um, so she just doesn't interact with people that much which for me just makes it a little bit less interesting I guess um, there was they're also traveling around a lot which I don't really love travel in books but there was a point where her uncle kind of drops her off for a little while someplace and so she gets to like stay in one place for a little while she starts making some friends with other kids who are her age kira sit down yeah sit good girl yeah you don't you do not need to go yell at the neighbor okay um so she finally starts to like interact with people more and I was like really into that part and starting to really enjoy it a lot more but now her uncle has picked her up again and they're gonna go traveling again and I'm just like well now I don't know <laughs> I don't know if I'm gonna continue to like this uh, you know I, I'm only a quarter of the way in so there's still a lot of story to happen it just has been like a rough start for me because of those reasons that it's just been like a little hard for me to get into and really care about what's going on so I'm gonna keep going with this but I think I am going to end my vlog here I have some other uh, things I got to do today that I don't think I'm gonna get much more reading done so may as well end it here so to summarize <laughs> what we've accomplished uh, red what are you doing oh, Timbers just playing with a, a stick that he found uh, Finished Nettle and Bone by T. Kingfisher, which I really enjoyed. I gave that four stars. I DNF'd Beauty by Robin McKinley, although actually after talking to Kara, she has read some more uh, Robin McKinley and said that uh, Beauty might not be the best place to start and that I might like Chalice better. Uh, so I might give that one a try. So I may not be like done with Robin McKinley. I might, I might try something else from her. Uh, but I DNF'd Beauty. Uh, then I finished uh, Lake Lore from Anna Marie McLemore, which I also gave four stars, and I got at least a quarter of the way into Hills, and I am intrigued to see where it goes, and I hope to continue. Uh, I hope to. I hope to like it. I hope my enjoyment only grows. <laughs> uh, anyways, I hope that you all enjoyed this vlog. Uh, and I hope that I actually edit it all together and post it for once. Uh, but thank you all for watching and until next time. Bye!